What's the 4th of July without a celebration? And you don't have to buy big fancy decorations. Gina Tepper is here to show you how you can make them at home. Gina, great to finally see you in person. Know, I'm so excited. This is fun. Me too. We had to have you because you always make the best stuff for parties and you do it with stuff you can find right around your own home. Yes. And especially today, there's things you can make with stuff you have at home. And I'm going to show you how. All right, let's do it. It's fun. First, I want to show you. I know sometimes I make elaborate things, but I'm going to show you the simple ones that you can make. These are fun. I like these guys. And this looks, it's good because it's blowing in the wind. The firecrackers that you just put over an existing uh, candle holder. Yeah, but this is... Um, this is actually oatmeal container. Okay. And this is salt. So any tube you have. Oh, this is like the salt container. Yeah, and I want to show you these cones, mm -hmm. they, they can be kind of intimidating, and I'm going to show you how to make them. Okay, so we're going to hold that up toward the camera here. This All is right. just, you basically, I drew a line here. This is a mm -hmm. half circle. That's how you make it. Okay. So people get confused, they're trying to, to twist it mm -hmm. to make Mix a cone. It all, up. all you have to do is make a half circle mm -hmm. and add a little bit more, because look. Look how easy that is. Boom. Oh, look how nice. Then you got it's the easy. for it. It's so easy. All right, that's perfect. So, You've got your own firecrackers over here, too. These yes. are always so much fun. I love them. They are fun. And the thing is, oh, now that's the one where you pull and you oh, shoot yeah, yeah. things off. Is this there stuff in there? No, I didn't okay. because of the wind. Ah. <laughs> but this is um, the firecrackers. You can make these with tubes that you have, and you put bubble wrap in there. You just put, like, toilet paper rolls or yeah. take paper towel rollers and, and you can cut them in half. Them. And you just boom, pop them, and right. it's not pop. There you go. And this one, it has the balloon on the end of it. Yeah. So if you feel like put some confetti in there, and it shoots out. Boom. That is there a lot of go. fun. I now I want to show you how to do these candles. I absolutely love flameless candles, but I wanted to decorate them. Yeah. I didn't want to actually do something that I have to commit to. So I took wrapping paper roll, mm -hmm. which I love. You can just pull it out of the wrapping paper. Right. And look at this. You just. And you oh, put that's it back okay. on. You just sort of cut it in half so it can go right over. No, it's the whole, like, there's, oh, one, whoops, I'm sorry. There's one right over there. Grab Here, that. Grab I'll show you what it is. You take a wrapping paper mm -hmm. roll. Well, you do. You cut it in half like this. Mm -hmm. And then you make a little sheath on it. And just wrap it right around. Yeah, and you can do double, two, or, but then you can do, look, I mean, look how pretty this is. This is actually wrapping paper, whatever you have. And you can just take them off, do it for the day, put it back on, and you have these beautiful 4th of July candles. And so if you don't have the colors that are red, white, and blue, uh, the dollar store, any of those stores have stuff for cheap. Yeah, absolutely. And and also, if you go to the craft stores now, everything is on sale. Because yeah. <laughs> they want to get rid of it. They want to get rid of it. And that's sort of what you've done with these little mason jars here. You've done the drizzle paint, or so you yeah. let it like sort of drool in there. Down, and you put it outside, let it dry. But if it's a thick puddle at the bottom, it'll take longer to dry, so just slightly do it and it's fun. Kids can do all this stuff. One of my favorite things that you make that I think is so easy to do and then you can save these from year to year, yeah. um, the napkin holders. Mm -hmm. These are great because this is a paper towel tube or whatever tube you have right. and then you just get a piece of ribbon and you just wrap it around, glue it on. It's perfect. That's and then it. as long as you have some some glue that's like fabric glue or even um, a hot air, uh, hot air balloon, <laughs> a hot glue gun. <laughs> yeah, you can use that. <laughs> you can use that too, right? Yeah, you can put it on. It's really easy. And you just measure the size, mm -hmm. like right here. And look at this. And just wrap it right around. Wrap it around. And you don't even have to put a decoration on there. Look at that. How, how That's really sweet. And there you go. And if you can maybe put that in a bag and put it in a storage area, just whip it out and use it next year. Or if you lose them, who cares? Just make new ones. Right. right. That's exactly <laughs> that's right. That's and then, what I like because I can never find my decorative ones, so I just make them myself. Just real quick, how did you make these? Because we only have about 30 seconds left. This is water bottles. It's my mm -hmm. fireworks. Look at this. This is a water bottle. You cut off the top, and then you cut these little pieces. And you and make your them. firework. Yeah. And I just... And I put, put lights. Sticks. You can't really see the lights, mm -hmm. but it's blinking, and this, especially at night, they start to blink. Like everything. I have lots of lights here. But you can't see them right now, but it's a lot of fun. Basically, anything that you can recycle, you do. I can only imagine what your house looks like. No, I just have bins in the garage, <laughs> and I put them in there because I'll be like, mm, I need this. Oh, so I always save my tubes, okay. paper tubes, like salt, oatmeal, and um, like even the tubes. You turn it like into wrapping, something like, like this. Yeah. Paper. You're good I to love go. this. Yeah. Gina, it is so great to have you back. Thank you so much for great ideas. Something you can do this afternoon to get your party festive, whether you're having it today or tomorrow or even beyond. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for joining us. We'll be right back with more in just a moment.